Hey guys and welcome back. I got a super interesting question. Um, what if you want to rank your customers based on your total sales and pull in the names of those that actually rank among the top five? Something like this, right? So here I have uh, my top five customers and I've just pulled in their names and we have their ranking, dash and the customer name. And of course, that's um, we could actually change that by making a selection in our country or yeah. Essentially, I want to know, I want to pull in the names based on ranking. How do you do that? Well, super simple. Let's um, let's have a look at it, right? Stay tuned till the end because um, I have a way where all the formulas are in one place that you could just copy and paste. Yeah. So I'm going to drag in my KPI and um, let's start writing a measure. So what do we want to do? I want to rank my top five. So I'm going to say if, let's start with a if. Um, I'm going to say first rank sum of sales amount, right? So rank the sum of sales amount and aggregate them across our customers. So in this case, my field is customer name and I say rank the customers based on their sales amount. So essentially this is going to give us a ranking and we're going to say, and in case the ranking is actually less than five because we want the top five, right? In case it's less than five, then in that case, bring in the rank. What is the rank? That's essentially this part, right? We're ranking the customers based on the sales. I could just use this. Then if you remember the format, the format was a dash. So I'm gonna say, and dash, and right. Oh, I need to put this in quotes. And dash, and what do we want? Well, we want to bring in the customer name. So I'm going to say customer name. What happens now? Well, essentially it's going to look into the if statement and if the condition is met, it's going to bring in the rank and it's going to bring in the name, but it's not going to do it again, right? So we want to concatenate it. So we want to say use concat and let's put in a distinct. What are we really saying over here? rank the customers based on their sales so aggregate it across the customer names and in case the ranking is actually less than five then bring the rank that is rank sum of sales and aggregate it across our customer again and a dash so essentially this is just concatenating a string right and bring in the customer name and once you do that well concatenate it so you want this loop to run till this condition is met that is you want five names so you're going to use a concat. Let's see how that works. Right, so let's just make this. How does it look? It looks like one dash and then there's no space in between. All we need to do is we need to add a space. So let's go back here. Here I need to add a space. So I could say and right, this is just giving a space. This would work. So I would say yeah and now it works as we want. But in this case I've used a symbol and that is well, you could actually, instead of giving it a space like this, you could say character 10 or 13. Both of them would give you a line break, character 10. And now if I click on apply, we get what we want. That is, we get the space here between the two, exactly like the string space, right? Let's see what I used. Well, you could actually use a bunch of other characters. So in this case, I've used a diamond. So I'll actually link this below. We have all the supported HTML character sets. So in this case, well, let's make spades. So I'm going to go back here, character here, and I'm going to say instead of character 10, I'm going to put in, and now they're separated here. Good. Well, uh, <laughs> it had nothing to do with it. You could just use a space, right? Just use character 13. I just thought it would be cool to show you that you could use different characters and click. Um, this might be helpful. So I told you that there's actually an easier way where I've actually put down all the formulas that you need. So I have the click sense front end cheat sheet where um, you could actually look at if that formula that you're looking for is actually here. So in this case, I have this something called print out top five rank customers. I'm going to go here and this is the format that we want. So you could just copy it, paste it and get the desired output directly. So I'll have a link for it below. Check out all the links in the description. Super appreciate it and uh, leave a like. See you in the next one. Peace.